James Gunn recently said that superhero movies are getting lazier and worse every entry and that somebody needs to step in and take comic book films to the way they used to be special and meaningful. So this is exactly what James Gunn recently said, and I quote, People have gotten really lazy with their superhero story, and they've gotten to the place where, oh, it's a superhero, let's just make a movie about it. And then, oh, let's make a sequel, because the first one did pretty well. And then, they're talking about it. But why? Why is this story special? What makes this story stand apart from other stories? What is the story at the heart of it? Why is this character important? What makes this story different that it fills a need for people to go see it? End quote. So I kind of get what he's saying here. I really do. And this is good and bad. If you look at Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, that film comes as a conclusion of the trilogy that James Gunn set out to make. But at the same time, you look at a film like Quantumania. The point of that film wasn't, hey, we're doing a third Ant-Man, let's go have some fun. It was literally to just throw Kang in there and get him built up for the Kang Dynasty. The Flash literally exists for the same reason. They had ideas of what to do, and it wasn't for some sort of giant blow-off, end the universe, or anything like that. It's the Flash's origin story, but... It's literally just a glorified cameo CG fest of a bunch of action. And then you look at other projects. I mean, you could also toss Superman Legacy into this as well. How many Superman films have we seen? What is Superman Legacy going to offer us that's different? That's what people want to know. So I think he's genuinely saying here that, yeah, films are getting lazier and worse when it comes to comic book films because now they're just doing anything and everything. Oh, it's a superhero film. It's got to be successful. That's literally Sony's mentality. They greenlit Morbius and Craven the Hunter for this exact reason. So I get what he's saying. And I kind of agree with him to a large part. But at the same time, there is also a couple issues here. Like, does Aquaman need a sequel? Probably not. The first film did and said everything Aquaman could possibly do. Like, literally, it's all of it. It's all of it in there. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens next. But um, I get what he's saying, even if it's a little hypocritical on his end, because he's literally part of a franchise where, why do we need a new Swamp Thing? We just had an excellent TV series based on him. Like, you guys see what I'm saying?